Hello Cub Scouts, welcome to my Christmas kitchen. We're getting ready to bake some traditional cookies. As you can see, I really, really do have a lot of sprinkles here. This is about six pounds. I put it on a scale. Uh, and so look for some sprinkles in your goodie bag. Let's get started. We're gonna make cookies. So we're going to need butter and we're gonna need three quarters of a cup. We're gonna use some cornstarch. We're going to use some icing sugar. Now, icing sugar is different than regular sugar. It's really powdery and fluffy. Uh, we're going to use flour. And then we're going to use something to decorate our cookies. And in our case, we're going to use sprinkles. Now, we could also use something like gumdrops or slices of cherries. Those are very traditional. Uh, sometimes people put a chocolate chip on top or a Hershey's Kiss. Whichever you like. In our case, we're gonna use sprinkles because you're all gonna have some sprinkles. And what equipment do we need? Well, I like to actually use a mixer or a food processor, but not everyone has that. But we can use just a good old fashioned bowl, some measuring cups, some um, forks and spoons, and then for the decorating stage and the flattening stage, I use a couple of bowls and a cup that has a flat bottom. More on that later. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with the butter. And I like butter the best. You could use margarine. Uh, it won't taste quite the same. But the important part is the measuring. So this is a block of butter. And you can see it's got measurements across the top here. We're going to need three quarters of a cup. So, that's half on this side, and I need another quarter cup, so it's going to be right about there. I'm going to cut this, and then I'm gonna put it in my bowl, and then I'm gonna squish it up really good. We'll be back in a second. So I have my butter in the bowl, and I'm going to squish it. Squish, 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 and I like using a fork, but you could use a spoon. Um, or like I said, if you have a mixer or a food processor, you could use that too. The important thing is, is that the butter is at room temperature, meaning if I had it in the fridge, I took it out of the fridge a few hours beforehand and let it warm up. That makes it nice and squishy. If, it, if you forget to do that, you really should just wait until it comes up to room temperature. If you try to put it in a microwave, you get just a goopy mess. So you can see my butter is all nice and squished now. Alrighty, so now we're ready to put our next ingredients in. So we're going to start off with some cornstarch. And when I was a little girl, the cornstarch, this brand, came in a box instead of a tub. And there was a recipe on the back. And the recipe on the back was for these cookies. Imagine that. Now you have to go to a website to get the recipe. It was less high tech when I was a kid. All right, as you can see, I am spilling stuff. I will be cleaning up afterwards. So will you guys, because just like when we go camping, it's leave no trace. It's also leave no trace when you do cooking. So I'm starting with a half a cup of cornstarch. And in it goes. And then I'm going to do half a cup of icing sugar. And icing sugar looks a lot like cornstarch. It's kind of fluffy. It's not like regular sugar. You can see it's quite different. Um, looks the same as cornstarch. Tastes much better than cornstarch if you get a little on your finger. And I'm going to have half a cup. In it goes. And then. I'm gonna put in a cup of flour. I hope I have a cup of flour. Oh, I do. And in it goes. 
then I will start squishing and squishing and squishing my dough with a fork and maybe even my hands until the dough looks like Play-Doh. And it even feels like Play-Doh. Alrighty. Then, once that's done, we're going to start making the real cookies. I'm also going to turn my oven on to 300 degrees and then we can start making cookies. Alright, time to make the cookies. Now I happen to have this little tool that I can use to scoop, but you don't have to. So I'm going to scoop up some dough into a ball. I'm going to put it on my cookie sheet or like I said, I can just grab some with my hand. And I'm going to fill my cookie sheet with 12 of them. That's the size of this cookie sheet. I don't want them to be too close together. And I'm not too worried at this point about how pretty they are. I'm going to make them look pretty in just a second. This is kind of like an assembly line. All right, now comes the fun part. We're going to get some sprinkles involved here. Alrighty, I'm going to roll these so they're pretty. Alrighty, now I have my two bowls and in my two bowls I now have some sprinkles. And in this one, I have a little bit of flour, okay? That's gonna keep my cookies from sticking. You'll see why in a moment. So I'm gonna dip my cookie by glass with the flat bottom in the, in the flour. I'm gonna take one of my cookies. I'm gonna drop it in the sprinkles and then I'm gonna squish it. And as you can see, I have this very nice sprinkly covered cookie. I'm just going to carefully peel it off, put it on my cookie sheet, and I'm just going to repeat. So into the flour, cookie dough into the sprinkles, squish, there we go, and I'm just going to keep on doing that. Alrighty, and we're ready for the oven. So they're going to go in there for about 20 minutes and they're going to bake, and then we'll see what they look like when they come out. Alrighty, turns out that this took 22 minutes instead of 20 minutes, and my cookies are screaming hot. This is why I have my oven mitt on. I'm gonna let these cool for a few minutes before I take them off the cookie sheet, and then I will have delicious cookies. And as you can see, we have lots of sprinkles for you guys. You can barely tell that they've got, my sprinkle jar has gone down. So I hope you enjoy baking cookies. Let me know how they turn out, and I look forward to seeing your pictures of your cookies.